Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, before I begin today's video, I want to talk about you no. Know, I'm just gonna do this on for fun. Every time I uh, make a video, I always do a strain review. Uh, this is Aurora's Blue Dream. It smells different. I uh, I mean, it doesn't smell smell like regular weed. I mean, I don't. I think the smell is okay. I don't think it's like that great, but um, it does smell unique, and it tastes like medicine it's because you know weed is kind of is a little bit like medicine. But you know it tastes a little different than other weed, and it smells a little different than other weed. Can't describe the taste and smell, but that's all I can. That's all I have to say about this. It's okay. I I, I don't know. I I there there are better strains out there like. I think it's okay. It's not bad. So let's begin. Afria to invest into uh, up to seventy million, seventy-two million in a German pharmaceutical distributor acquisition. So they're acquiring a company that has uh, thirteen that has access to more than thirteen thousand pharmacies in Germany. Uh, I thought this was great news for Afria shareholders or Afria in general, but. Uh, when I looked at the stock today, it was down. I think the entire market is really down today. I mean, there are other companies like Canopy that got hit way harder than Afria. But, uh, you know, you can't have a green day always. There's been too many green days and eventually it's going to have to have a nice little red day today. And that's what's happening. A little correction. At least I hope it's a little correction. Hope it doesn't plummet the stock all the way. I mean, I don't think so. There's there's earnings next week, and I think those earning numbers are gonna be very good. Uh, they're gonna they're not gonna be very good, but they're gonna be uplifting, I think, because there's gonna be news regarding the whole rec market from all these licensed producers in the in the conference, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna say everything's selling out, and we're like low on inventory. That's why I'm pretty much sure what they're gonna say. We'll see what happens though. Okay. So, oh, where? Oh, yeah, Planet Thirteen. So, Planet Thirteen raised thirty twenty million dollars at a price of three dollars per share. And what happens to Planet Thirteen stock today? It plummeted. It plummeted nine percent. Like I think it's gonna continue to go because usually when a company raises money, it's gonna Decrease in price. That's what happens because of the stock delusion. Who knows? The, the, this this might be a little different. It might it might go back to three twenty three. I don't think so, but it could. <coughs> we you know taking it hard today. Down almost almost five percent. I mean, it recovered a little bit, but no news today. For, nope. No news today for Canopy. T God, of course, T God's down today, so it's actually starting to recover. I'm shocked. Uh, we'll see what happens at the end of the day. I think it's gonna be a red day in in the markets in general. Hexo, Hexo's down, not too bad. Any news for Hexo? Oh, something about full future of beverage cannabis. Hexocorp, the green organic. This might just be an article. I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll read that later. Aurora. Aurora down. Just like Canopy. The time is dragging it down. You know, remember how I said 14 uh, it might test the $14 levels? It might test the $14 level. It also might go back down to eight dollars, but you know I think those I think the earnings are gonna be pretty good. So I think we're gonna have a green uh green Monday sorry green Friday going into Monday might be a red day, might not be depending on how management uh, talks about the talks about the company and depending on the the numbers they show. But you know I can promise you this Aurora Cannabis revenue is going to be more than 33 million dollars 
<laughs> it makes sense, right? Namaste. Namaste is down. Oh, no, it's up. Well, it's up one cent, but, uh, yeah, because it's a red day. Namaste going down with the market. Can, can a stock. I bought, uh, I bought 20, I, I'm, I was just disclose it. I, I put an order for buying at 24 cents, uh, Heritage Cannabis Holdings. It's like a little $5,000 gamble. Uh, I saw it on the Midas letter. I thought I'd just buy it just because it was mentioned on the Midas letter. It might, I mean, if I look at the chart, it's already like odd, like 52 week low. So it's not like I'm buying a, a rising stock, right? I'm just buying a stock that was mentioned on Midas letter. Maybe, uh, apparently, James from Midas letter has most of his money into this one stock. He could be completely lying, but, uh, I mean, he could be completely lying, but I don't think so. Uh, he must see something in this company. So I just bought a little bit. Uh, I might do some research on this company. I, I have no idea what the hell this company does. I didn't really look into it. I just bought it because it was mentioned on Midas letter and it's near its 52 week low. I bought it at 24 cents. I mean, it could go all the way to like five cents, maybe five, 10 cents. Maybe it's a gamble I take. Like, you know, Midas Letter also mentioned Juju. Uh, and look at where Juju is now. Well, like, down. So, I mean, they mentioned it while it was rising. And then it rose all the way up here. And then it, it just started declining. Went in decline mode. AMD had, uh, it's very volatile today. They had some pretty good news with micro uh, with Amazon using the uh, CPU processors. Cura Leaf. Uh, I don't know why I brought this up, but uh, I heard that I heard also heard on minus letter that you know they raised a lot of money. Uh, I might be buying some into this stock, depending. I mean, the volume's pretty low. The market cap is ridiculous, like $3.4 million. Billion dollars, sorry. It's m worth more than, like, a lot of cannabis companies. So, there must be something really good in this company. I know they managed to raise a lot of money, like half a billion dollars or something, when they went public. This was a stock that was a recommendation on, I mean, uh, someone talked about it on the uh, my membership group. I thought I'd bring it up. Uh, it looks like interesting, it's like a fertilizer company. Uh, it had a nice rise when there was the whole Jeff Session was uh, getting the can, the kick, like getting fired. Uh, you know, the market cap's not too bad, $109 million. It is traded on the OTC. It's traded only on the US, not on, on Canada. Pretty looks like an interesting company. I gotta do more research on this. I mean, yeah. I might buy some. Depending if it goes back to 368 or, or 370. It could. I mean, this whole hype could just die off and it could go back here. Then I might pick up some shares. Might. That's the word, might. I am this. This is one of my big winners. Uh, no, I'm hoping. I'm hoping this has a nice correction today. Apple, the number one company in the world, still declined today. Is it, I wonder if it's gonna go back to two hundred dollars. That would not be a good sign for the markets if it went back to two hundred dollars. I think it's gonna probably hover around 205 to 210. Tesla, the one company I, I'm very 
reluctant to sell with my stocks. It's up 1.52% today. Feels good. Uh, anyways, uh, that's it for the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know what I'm gonna name it yet. Maybe I'll name it the Afria thing because that's the big news today. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.